so as not to break. Mordremoth has already claimed too many victims. Do you think the Pale Tree will recover? Our mother is resilient, but the Mordrum tore at her in ways we don't fully understand. We know it affected her mind. She fades in and out of awareness, but she said she was able to protect the dream from the assault. But at what cost to herself? I'm ready to go. Someone's coming. Good news, hopefully. Friend, she's aware now, but we can never predict for how long. Follow me, please. Mother, I've brought the Pact Commander who asked to see you. Good. I was hoping to see you soon. The Vision. First seed here in the grove. It's where Kaith's roots are. Ask me if you have any other questions about them. Please, Traherne, don't tell me you're up here contemplating the words of a long-dead centaur. I know what you think of Ventari's tablet, but I find <sighs> wisdom in it. Do you even consider other views? <clears throat> Filling the heads of this new crop with only one side doesn't seem responsible. Ventari's tenants will help them make something of themselves, my dear. All sentient beings feel that urge. Exactly. To make something of themselves. Not to live up to someone else's ideal of what they should be. Case, can we talk for a moment? After the gathering today, we must corner Wynne and get her to tell us what she was talking to Mother about. You're obsessing again. 
You know how we night blooms are about our secrets. This is important, Kate. She knows something that could hold sway over all Silvari. That's not trivial. <laughs> you don't know that's true. You overheard a portion of a conversation out of context, no less. I know. Come on, we're going to be late for the gathering. What do you suppose they're going to talk about? I imagine they're as surprised as we are that we awoke. Do you suppose they want us gone? Don't be ridiculous. I tried again to talk to Kiara. Seriously, why don't you just leave her be? She doesn't want company. Over two years. That's how long the others were here all alone. Just the Twelve. It explains why they're so intimate with one another. I wish I'd been one of them. The elders follow without thinking. This tablet, it's a farce. They cling to it because it tells them how to behave. But we, we have our own minds. We do not swallow whole the old philosophies. We are better than that. Can you meet tomorrow night to discuss the tablet? Midnight. Hmm, I'll be there. It'll be good to speak with others of a similar mind. Thank you all for coming. We're here to discuss our newly awakened and how we can best assist them. If you say assist, but you mean mold. You want to make them all into your version of good little Silvari. No. As firstborn, it is our responsibility to care for and guide these secondborn. The newly awakened, let's not call them secondborn, could benefit from our knowledge of Antari's tenants. Oh, please. I love to be a pant at their feet to hear what they're saying. There they go again, probably talking, of course. Why aren't we involved in their discussions? Don't look at me that way, Wynn. You know I'm right. Whatever your secret is, I'll dig it out of you. I have no secret. You know everything I know. Don't lie to me. I heard you whispering to Mother. I heard you say there was something that could give unspeakable power over all Silvari. What were you talking about? I have to go. I'm traveling to a centaur refuge in the Silver Waste to research Ventari. We'll talk later, Fallon. Elders, I bring grave news. Please, listen. Take a deep breath, sapling. What's your hurry? Small, imp-like creatures. We just wanted to explore beyond Mother's roots. They appeared out of nowhere. Asura, I guess. Malamedes had an encounter with them not long ago. He was lucky to survive. Where did they go? They took them northwest into the forest. What can we do? I followed right them a while, this. but then I felt I should come get help. They said something about returning to Metrica before I lost their trail. Kaith, Fowlin, you two had the most experience in the wild. Would you scout ahead? The secondborn are precious. We cannot allow them to be killed to assage some ignorant race's curiosity. At last, something we agree on, Traherne. 
can't wait to teach these imps a lesson. You and me, together, we'll rescue as many as we can. They treated Malamedes terribly. I hope they're not so harsh with this group. They're going to remember the day they met the two of us.